Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to render multiple ROP at once in Houdini, so let's dive in. So I have a project here and I have different camera to render some still of the scenes. And here you can see I have four shots in total and four shots is exported in three different formats. So I have horizontal format, square and vertical format. So this is the first shot. This is the second shot, third shot and last shot. So I want to export all my ROPs in one single click. So to do that, I can go to the out context and here I will create a new ROP just to show um, an example for these tutorials. So let's add a redshift render. So this is my new ROP. So first of all, I need to select my camera. So here, if I take a look at the object context, I have my still number one in horizontal format. So for this tutorial, I will export only the horizontal format. So I will export four images in total. So I want to export this camera, still O1 horizontal. Also this one, still O2 horizontal still O3 horizontal and still O4 horizontal. So I will export these four cameras. So I will go back to the out context. Here I will select my first camera, which is still O1 horizontal, this one. Click accept. Here for the tutorial, I will um, decrease the resolution because for now it's set as 4K image. So I will put that and I will choose maybe one third resolution. So here I can go to the output context. Here I will uh, render them in a new folder called render tutorial still. And here I will put that to EXR 32 bits and I will change the EXR compression to DWAA. Then you can set your AOVs if you want, but in my case for the tutorial, I will keep the AOVs empty. But of course you can set, set them here on the AOVs manager. Now I will go to the Redshift tab and I will change the mode to advanced. Here I will put the threshold to 0.01, but of course for final rendering, you can decrease this value to have something a bit more uh, high res. And here you can uh, disable this automatic sampling. I will put the minimum to 64. Imagine having access to over 40 hours of exclusive Houdini tutorials. And that library keeps growing every month with brand new content. On Arda Labs, you'll find in-depth Houdini tutorials covering motion design, simulations, product visualization, and more. Plus, you get access to all project files so you can follow along step by step. And right now, we're offering an extra 20% off the annual membership, on top of the 10% discount already included when compared to the monthly plan. This exclusive deal is available for the first 30 people, so don't miss out. Click the link below, your 20% discount is applied automatically. Secure your spot before it's gone. And I will put the maximum to 1024. Here you can override some pass if you want. For example, you can put your volume at 2048 if you want, but in my case, I will keep it as it is for the tutorial. I want to render something quite fast. So for the GI, I will put that to brute force and keep it as it is. And under the system tab, I will increase the bucket size to uh, 256. So here for this first camera, I want to export the frame at the frame number um, 110. So here I will change that to render frame range. I will set the first frame as 110 and the last frame as 110. And now I need to go to the main tab and I have to disable these options, non-blocking current frame rendering. So now I can copy and paste this one. I can plug the first one on the second one. And here I can change my camera. So here for this second redshift drop, I will um, export my still number two horizontal. And I want to export the frame 110 for this second one. So now I can copy and paste it one more time, this time for the third camera. So I can plug the second one on the third one. And here for this one, I want to export the frame 120. So I will change the start frame and the end frame here at 120. And here I will change my camera. I will put this one to still O3 horizontal. So in that case, I can render the third camera. Now I can copy and paste it one more time for the last camera. I can remove that one with Y and plug the third one to the last one. And here I want to render the frame 124. So I will replace the start frame and last frame with 124. And here I want to export my camera still 04. So now if you want, you can rename the redshift ROP because if you are checking the output tab here, you'll see that we have the $OS, which is the name of the node. So for example, you can rename this one still 01, this one still 02, still 03, and still 
404. So now I can go to the last Redshift drop and I can click on render to disk and it will render everything from the first one to the last one. So it will start with the still number one. When this one is finished, it will start automatically with the second one, then with the third one and then with the last one. So to render animation, you can just type your um, start frame and end frame for each individual drops and click on the last one and it will render everything at once. So of course, don't forget to um, disable the option non-blocking current frame for every um, redshift drop. So here I will uh, select the last one and click on save to disk. So the render is finished and you can see it exported the four frame. So this is the first one, second one, third one and last one. So that's it for this tutorial. I just want to show you how to export multiple ROPs at once in Houdini. So if you want to have access to this full step-by-step -step course of this collision of two brush for the beauty shots, you can just check the link in the descriptions. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check artivoxar.com to get premium 3D resources. You can access to this project file with our Artifiles membership. See you in the next one. Bye.